Good hello and welcome to Toon Boom Harmony's Node System. Are you intimidated by this? Let's be not that. A list of layers is one dimensional, stacked up and down. A node field is two dimensional, spreading your layers out as if they are on a table and can be arranged in all sorts of new orders not previously possible. In the node view window, in a blank file, you start with a drawing layer connected to a composite and leading into a write and a display node. When multiple drawing layers are created, they look like this. The first dimension is the traditional layer order and is arranged from right to left, leftmost layer stacked at the top and the rightmost arranged at the bottom. Rearranging a layer in the list moves its chord and rearranging the chords shifts the layer order. So it is literally the same thing. The second dimension is the hierarchy and this is arranged from top. To bottom. It represents how things are grouped and parented. This drawing layer is inside a peg. In nodes it looks like this. This drawing layer is inside pegs inside pegs inside pegs which looks like this in the nodes. The colors of the ports in the drawing layer represents the order certain kinds of nodes are applied. Transformations at the top, which includes pegs, bones, deformers, constraints, and different rigging supplies. The drawing layers contain all of the artwork in the middle, and the effects go on the bottom. These include things like filters, sublayer isolators, and masking nodes. The primary benefit of the node system is that it separates layer order from hierarchy. A clear visual example is demonstrated by this head, all grouped together, but the face goes in front of the body and the hair is layered behind. The body, a completely separate element, is slotted in between. There's no clever masking going on, no use of 3D space, it is just natively layered like that. It's brilliant. One can get very creative with just the strings alone, allowing for multiple instances of the same object stacked in front and behind, or perhaps with different manipulations applied to each. Here's a glowing object on its own, and again with a raw string bypassing that glow, displaying the original object underneath. If I apply a second string from that glow, it acts as an amplification. Observe these different peg hierarchies and imagine how they would move. Considering things are applied from top to bottom, rearranging nodes changes the order in which they are applied. Things can be deactivated one at a time or repositioned to create different results. The same exists with effects. Notice how this blur changes if the blur is applied before or after the object has been masked. Some nodes have multiple ports, often reserved for mats to be inserted. Any drawing can be used as a mask in these circumstances. And because of the multiple strings and instances, the same drawing can appear as a mat for something and appear normally somewhere else. The composite node provided in that new file combines all of the layers together into one single string. It will modify all of the layers that go into it. Multiple composites can be added to the scene, adding a lot of arrangement and form to a file adding great ways to group and combine different types of effects and compositing. Deactivating a composite also acts as a master switch to reveal or hide anything that is going into it. All nodes have a yellow box on the side here that contain all of the layer properties that can be adjusted, animated, and experimented with. The composite node, for example, has a few different modes. The default bitmap flattens everything going into it into one image in three-dimensional space, whereas pass-through keeps all of of those things separate, allowing for different results with the same effects. The display and the right nodes are how we see the result. The display is what we see through the camera view and the right is what will be rendered out in the end. Multiple of these can be added to the scene as well. By right clicking on the top toolbar and activating the display control, you can navigate complicated files through the displays, isolating predetermined parts of the file. The right node similarly can render sections of a file, such as splitting out each camera character into their own video so that there can be more flexibility in the edit. And if any changes need to be made later, only that character will need to be rendered again. With a few simple building blocks, the node system is only limited by your imagination. And now you will be prepared for the deeper stuff as we start building all sorts of wacky contraptions. Take these new skills you have acquired and join me in the upcoming series. No doubt.
Thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to make weekly videos all this year. Also, quick heads up that I'm also available for personal tuition. From individual students to full studios preparing for production. Harmony is a big program and every production is completely different. So if you need a hand getting everything ready for a specific project or just something a bit more general, I'm happy to help. Contact email is in the description.